Combat, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to make your own custom cursor. As you see, um, my my cursor right now is customized. It says TSGB, and if uh, yeah, I have the whole cursor set. So if you it goes it goes on a link, it's gonna change. If it wants to resize something, it's gonna change. So I have the whole cursor set for TSGB. And before I start to teach you guys how to make your own cursor set. I'm gonna first uh, first off tell you that after I upload this video to YouTube, I'm gonna upload my my own custom cursor set to um to my website. So um you, if you want to download this cursor set that I have right now, um you guys could download it at my website. And also I'm gonna have a video up on my website on how to download and use my custom cursor set just in case you guys don't get it. So um let's get started. The first thing you want to do is download this program right here. It's called Icon Art 2.0. The link to downloading Icon Art 2.0 will be in the video description. Now, um, let's. Um, I'm going to teach you guys how to do two things today. First off, how to make just a simple cursor, and second of all, how to make a more detailed cursor like the one I have. So, the simple cursor, just open up Icon Art and draw whatever you want. In this case, let's say I want to draw an arrow for random reasons. Okay, well actually I'm going to do it with a red. Or I'll make it red and black so you guys can see it in my black background. Okay, next thing you want to do is go up here and sel and click this so you can set the hotspot. The hotspot is where the actual clicking is going to happen. Usually want you want to set it in the top left hand corner. And then click accept. Once you got your cursor, once you like it, this is how you want your cursor. Once you have that, go to File, Save Frame as Cursor. Then save it as whatever you want to wherever you want. And remember, wherever you save it, it has to stay permanently there. Because let's say if I save it to my desktop, and then I set it to my default, uh, I set it to my default cursor, and then move the space where I move it to like a random file. Then um thing the default cursor or the cursor that I set it to it's gonna return back to the default cursor and I'm gonna have to do everything all over again because the file the place it was it has now changed so remember the place you save it you have to keep it there so I'm just gonna save it to my desktop because I'm gonna delete this later on so it doesn't really matter and I'm gonna name it as arrow or arrow cursor then click save once you have saved it um go to start the start menu. Go to your control panel. When the control panel opens up, click on appearances and themes. So let's wait for it to open up. Oh, and by the way, when saving um, your your cursor in Icon Art 2.0, make sure you save it as a .cur file, not anything else. It has to be .cur. Okay. When control panel pops up. Click on Appearances and Themes. And then in the left hand corner right here, it should say Mouse Pointers. Click on that. And then a window should pop up. A new window. Once the new window has popped up, click on the Pointers tab up here. Up on top, click on the Pointers tab. And as you see, I got all my different pointers set already. But right now, we just want to change the, um, the normal select, the default pointer. Double click on that. Go to wherever you saved it and just double click on the the cursor that you just made. So I saved it to my desktop and it's right here, arrow cursor. And then click apply or OK. Wait for it. And as you see right here, my cursor has just changed to a red arrow. Now, if I put it to this white part, you can also see the black, but that's why I made it red because in my background is black. But as you see, red arrow, you could use you could use it wherever you want. It actually works. Um, yeah, you could close stuff with it, open stuff. It's an actual cursor and it actually works. And it's really nice. It's like that. So the next thing I'm gonna teach you guys how to do, I'm just gonna leave this open right here. Next thing I'm gonna teach you guys how to do is actually make an animated cursor. So right here, 
to make an animated cursor, go back to icon art, click on file, new project, and then click on cursor, animated cursor. And right here, set how many frames you want. I'm just going to set it to two frames, or actually three frames. And then click on the button that says animated cursor. And it should make the three frames. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention this. The pink, pinkish color in the background, that's, that's just, that won't show up. That's just so you guys could see it. That's just so you guys could see what you're drawing. That won't show up when you actually save the cursor. So anyways, back to the animated icon, or animated cursor. Right here, you could see that there are three pink um, uh, places where you could draw the cursor. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw the arrow. red arrow and this time I'm gonna make it blink back and forth so I got the arrow then I click once you're satisfied with it click on the next the next um, tab right here the next uh, the place that it has available for draw the next frame and then draw the next arrow and this one's gonna be upside down or backwards Yeah, it's really crappy looking, but whatever. It's just for demonstration purposes. And then select the next one and just draw it back again. Okay, and there you have it. Once you've done, once you've done, once you're done with all three or how many frames you have, go to File, and this time press Save and I cursor A N I cursor. For if it's an animated cursor, you have to save it like that. And then I'm just going to save it as animated arrow. After you've done that, go back to the pointers tab right here, which I kept open. Double click on normal select. And right here, animated arrow. And click apply. Wait for it. And as you see, my arrow keeps moving back and forth, just like that. It's really as simple as that. There you have it, your animated cursor. It keeps moving back and forth. Now, I'm going to teach you guys how to make a more advanced cursor, more detailed. So, I'm just going to switch this back to my default cursor. Right over here we are. Cursor pack. Default cursor. Okay. So, I got it. 